are listening to me. When I told you not to go to the palace with that your younger brother, probably this secret would have remained secret. But you are But your pride and arrogance led to your downfall. You are the architect of your own misfortune, Ebuna. You are not our blood. You are not even the son of late Ono. And you had the guts to make out this evil on your late father's brother. You sent him packing from the house that was not built by your own father. You also removed his name from the company's payroll. A company that was not built by you. Oh, what kind of a man are you? Tell me. See, let me tell you. We are going to strip off everything that our brother has that is in your possession. You are wicked. And this is the day of your doom. Sorry, I am so sorry, Nichi. Please, no, 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 My king, I acted on ignorance. Please, Biko. Since you are not our blood, we are not going to allow you to remain here with us in this kingdom. We are going to strip off everything that belongs to our brother that is in your possession. Yes, you are wicked and heartless. Mm. I, you will of this kingdom, have spoken. And mm. that's final. The black is no green. Ask you to stop. Right now, we hope you don't go to the police. I'm going to 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 go Please, I am Have you seen it? Have you seen what stubbornness can cause? If you had listened to him, this whole thing wouldn't have cropped up. You, you think I'm happy with this news? No, you think I'm happy. And I'm going to get it. I'm Now, see. What kind of news is this one, Bikon? You can see you. can see you. can see you. can For real, from my heart. Amara Moma, Biko, that wickedness from today is gone. Let's do that again, Biko. I want you to help me to do something. Please. I beg you with everything in me. Please. I am ready to do whatever that comes out. Please help me to beg the king. You never told me you sent your uncle Parkin from the house. His brother breathed for him. You never told me you removed his name from the company's payroll. That was evil. If I had heard of such things before now, I wouldn't have even listened to you at all. I acted in error. I was misinformed. I thought he was against me. You have no right whatsoever to melt out such heart of wickedness against him. Okay, okay. And I said I am sorry. I am ready to amend my ways. Okay? It is already late now. It's not just because the king has said it. It is against our culture and tradition to keep someone who is not our true blood in our kingdom for a long time. 
if we don't take such a person to his real home at the appointed time. The anger of the gods will rise against us. So you have to go home and bear your cross. What have I done to myself? The prophet warned me, but I didn't understand. Sakule! That dream is a message from God. I know. And the message is all about your destiny. Your uncle has a role to play in your destiny. And it's left for you to allow him to succeed in playing the role or stop him from playing the role. That is the message of your dream. The prophet was right. He has a role to play in my destiny. If I had listened to him, if I had loved him like I would, he would have kept the secret that no one would know now. My wickedness has backfired on me. How do I take this? Where do I start from? Oh, oh, my world is crumbling before my eyes. This is a setup. They cooked all these lies just to achieve their aim. Don't fall for it, Debula. Don't. You cost it. Your low thinking ability contributed to my downfall. You are part of my problem. Me? Yes, you. How? What do you mean? Kuthio could have helped me retrieve my birthright. Just like the prophet said. But you will never allow me think. Whenever I want to think, you kept pushing me against my uncle and my brother. And that was actually what led to my downfall. Me? Nobody should involve me, oh. Don't blame me at all! It's not all about blame. It's not all about blame here. It's all about facing the reality. Facing the fact. Reality. You and who? The breaking of me. They ask you to stop. But right now, we're not gonna lose. This is unbelievable. It's sad. So, Ebuna is not my father's son. Honey, you shouldn't look at it that way. He is still in your blood. You guys share the same womb. You came out from the same womb. Ah, uh, no, of course. I, I still love him. Even with this new development, I still love him. You know, nothing has changed from the way I, I feel about him. Okay, even though I'm not happy the way he treated our uncle, but nothing has changed. I still love him as a brother. So what's his fate now? It's just the, the elders who cancel. If, if, if only they can forget about everything and, and allow us to live the way we've been living. Okay, I just wish they can overlook all of this. I just wish. He wishes were horses, my love. I've always known that there is something about this dream I see every night. It is not an ordinary dream. 
It's my life, my destiny. I've always known that. If only my father had told me before his death to report his death to the Igwe with my brother, I would have done just that. I wouldn't have started suspecting Uncle Tio. I would have done exactly that. And all these wouldn't come up. Why are you disturbing me? Why are you disturbing my son? I thought you didn't believe it was a conspiracy. Why are you still calling him your father? Why? Stop calling him your father because he's not your father. I'm going back to sleep. I don't want to be disturbed. You're bent on fighting someone who only loved you all the way. Have you seen what you've done to yourself? I, if you love me, you will be alright. If you be forgot to turn me into a new one, I, why are you fighting someone who's not fighting back? Why are you having? Okay, so what is yours has finally returned to you. Welcome back to your house, uncle. Being a true son of your father all this while, <laughs> he must be proud of you wherever he is right now. <laughs> At last, blood, blood is thicker than water. <laughs> Let's go in. No. Yes, the first thing we have to do is to send men to Ahaji for verifications to ascertain his true origin. The man Ebuka must be consulted for him to know about his son, whether dead or alive. Then, the chief priest will conduct the rituals for separation for him never to come back to this kingdom again whether dead or alive Igwe, what further happens to the documents of the properties of the little noble that have now been changed to his name is he going to ohaji with him well we are going to strip him of everything that belongs to our brother that is in his possession. I understand that, Your Majesty. But how are we going to do it when every property document are in his possession? <laughs> anyway, all the documents concerning our late Onowo's properties are in my possession. Ono. Oh, you seem to be at rest. Igwe. I've been meaning to do this for a very long time. But I've been procrastinating. But I've decided to do it now. What is it? Inside that briefcase are documents of all my companies, my landed properties, and all the valuables I've worked for over decades. My brother is aware that I'm bringing it to you, and I believe 
it is safe here. Igwe. Nobody has ever done this before. How did you come about it? Igwe, my sons are now grown. And when I hear stories about how a man works so hard, build up wealth, buy properties here and there, only to die, for his children to sell off these properties recklessly, it weakens my heart. So I decided that my sons must not know where the property documents of their father is. In case any of them wants to sell the property behind my back, it will now be difficult for them to achieve it. That's good. That's good. Igwe, the last time I spoke with my doctor, he told me that my chances of surviving this surgery is 50-50. But just in case I don't make it, I know these properties will be in good hands with you, sir. May the cause of our land forgive this, you said. You will go to that hospital or come back in peace. It's a... Nothing will happen to you. It's a... Hey, oh no. Why didn't you give this documents to your brother to keep? Hmm. You are a good man. That's why you ask that question. But my brother is aware that I brought it to you. I had to be very easy for my sons to break into my brother's house and collect the document. But none of them will try it in the palace. But if the need arises for any of my properties to be sold, then there will be a general agreement by the entire family with your endorsement, Igwe. Why is a wise decision? A wise decision taken by the Onowu of our kingdom. Igwe. No. Like I said before, nothing will happen to you. The gods of our land will protect you. He said, nothing will happen to you. He said, with those documents in my possession, we are going to strip him of everything. Not even a single thing will go with him. That young man is evil and wicked. The Igwe has spoken. And they ask you to stop it. You bet on fighting someone. Oh no, saw tomorrow. Yes, he did see tomorrow. But such things happen when you are not sure of the paternity of your sons. Huh. He knew Ebuna has a strange blood and is capable of anything. That was why he played on the safe side. Imagine if those documents were to be in that boy's possession. Ah, like ah. Even the real son of late Onowu, Ndudi, will be crying by now. Hi. But Onowu indeed is a wise man. Yes, he is. <laughs> He's a wise man. <laughs> Let me rush down. Oh, no problem. We'll see tomorrow. All right, take care. All right. They beg you in no green And they ask you to stop it You bet on fighting someone Who only loved you all the way Ah, Where are you people? I don't know you people. We come in peace. Yes. Okay, come. Come and sit. I have to. Thank you. Why are you fighting so? So tell me, 
What's your mission to my house? Like my fellow Ichi said, we came in peace. We are from Omazere Kingdom. We were sent by the king to come and see you. Sent by the king to come and see me? Yes. I hope all is well. All is well. We have been asking about you since we came into this land. And finally, we were directed to come here. We are actually looking for one Pa Ibuka who worked with uh, Zeno Construction Company I used, some 10 years ago Correct. and retired back to the village. Yeah, I am. You are the right place. We are here in respect of your son, Ebona, whom one Miss Ifunaya dumped and got married to Echizona. Both of you were feed workers for the same company during that period. Where is Echizona? And my girlfriend that ran away with him. He married her, carrying my child, my own. Where are they? I didn't. And your blood is Yeah, take it. Take it again. Take it. If you want, is it? Oh, Richard. Richard. Please, excuse us. Okay. Oh, I like. That's it, I'll bend again. I got it, I got it. Okay, let's go. What is it? I missed my period. Are you sure? I'm very sure of it. See, I need to go for a pregnancy test. You know, I, I, I warned you against this thing that day. You refused to listen to me. I asked that we should use protection, but you refused. Now see where it has landed us. Me especially. If you, you have nothing to worry about. I told you that I love you, and I still love you. Okay, take a look at me. Am I not old enough to be a father? I am the only son of my late father. <laughs> See, my aged mother in the village will be very happy to hear about this news. So, cool down. Epka, wait. Are you in essence telling me that you will marry me? Yes. Let's do the test first. And once it's positive, I will inform my mother about it. I will, come, I will come with my people to see your people. Is this for real? Yes. Ebuka, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh my God, you're such a good man. Okay. You know, some other guys would have just denied the pregnancy and that would be the end for me. I love you. I love you. Thank you. That is all that My guy, eh? I don't think I will still go to the field with you to watch the ball anymore. Ah. What's wrong? Why? Ah, I, 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 are you not seeing? Ah. I'm going somewhere with my <laughs> baby. Don't find me. Don't find me. Let's don't go. Find me. Ah. So, let's go. Uh, in that case, uh, I will go alone now ah. because I'm even ready. You, go you can wait for me. Let's go together. Oh, baby. <laughs> you will not wait for me. <laughs> nah, as I will go. You are this my friend. Eh? Uh, meanwhile. Oh, baby. And this one is bad. The result. It's positive. Wow. I'm very happy. I'm happy too. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. I love you. Let's go inside. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, Buka. Mama. 
are you responsible for her pregnancy? I am, Mama. If Naira is a decent girl, I am the only boyfriend she had. And I was also the one that took her virginity. So I trust her. Are you ready for marriage? How will you take care of your family with the little salary you're being paid? How? Mama, we can manage. She receives salary and I receive salary too. I will start adding overtime to my job so I earn more money. A lot of workers are happily married and living in the staff headquarters from their salaries. I believe we can manage them. I pray that God sees you true. And I also believe she will give birth to a baby boy. Amen, Mommy. Thank you. Don't worry, okay? Hmm. That boy that is called HSM, that barely joined us less than six months ago. I don't know what he gave to our boss. The white man that owns this company, the man loves him like his own son. Even Ahana, the guy that brought him, has become jealous of him. The hmm. boss has made him his personal assistant. He no longer wants to become a shock. Some people just from shy. Just one. Mm -hmm. you know, are you trying to tell me that somebody can not see someone and like the person naturally? Exactly. But I think the word there is luck. That guy is really lucky. Mm -hmm. I mean, naturally, some people are lucky. You know, they're always like that. There is nothing anybody can tell me to convince me that that guy is not busy just now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the boss said that when he dies, that he's going to be buried here in Nigeria and he's going to win his company to anybody or any staff of his choice. Yeah. Really? Yeah? Wait, though. wait, wait. How true is that? You know, I've heard this before, but I never really believe it. True. So it's true. As around now, the news is everywhere. The man said that when he dies, He's going to win his country to any of his favorite staff. And I think he's grooming that boy Echezo for that purpose. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, you mean our boss said he's going to win the big company to his favorite staff? This now. He said, wow, this is unbelievable. I don't want to believe this. Yourself well, it's true. He has been saying it. Even in our last staff meeting, he said it. Anyways, I don't have any choice. I, I would have to believe it. You know, white men don't reason like us Africans. For where? Ebuka's door, there's no response. Ebuka did not tell you that he traveled. Travel? Yes, now. Travel to where? Ebuka traveled to the village to see his mother. Ah, he didn't tell me. Ebuka. Hey. hey. And now my roommate has gone for church video with our key. Child. I hope to spend the night with him at his place. Hey. What will you do now? Richard, please, I don't know if I can spend the night with you. I'll leave first thing tomorrow morning before court close. Ah. Please. Spend the night with me? Very early in the morning, I'll leave ah. before people come out from their houses. Please. Hey. Please. I don't think that would be possible. Or do you rather um, suggest I stay outside? No, no, no. No, no. Just help me for the night. You okay, guys, my friend, you, you can't stay outside. Well, I, I,
Oh, what is it now? Sleep on your own now. Eche, please now. Let me just call you so I can sleep. No, no, I don't like it now. I don't like somebody touching me when I'm sleeping. No, Ibuka will do the same for me. Okay. It's just a cuddle. That is Ibuka now, not me now. Try to understand, please. Just go to bed, please. I can't sleep alone by myself. What do you want me to do, Nana? Eh? That's still the reason I have a roommate, Ivan. Don't make me to regret this thing now. I don't like it. Please, please. now. Mm. Okay, nothing will happen. I assure you. Please. Okay, now. Just leave. No problem. You can touch the head, the head. How will you say such thing? Just once that I entered you, and you say you are pregnant. Just a fool. Just once that I entered. Do you have to enter a woman 20 times before she gets pregnant? For real? Okay, if you doubt me, then let's go and do a test together so you confirm it. I'm pregnant. And it's for you. What, what, what are you saying? How am I sure that I'm the one responsible for this pregnancy? How? What about Ebuka, your, your, your boo boo? Eh? Which Ebuka? Ebuka is just a friend, though. He's just a colleague. Ebuka has never seen my pant for hey! one day. I think I lie you. Ebuka has not seen your pant for one day. How about all those movements you people have been making inside the room? Making noise front and back? Eche, what's the lie inside this thing I'm saying now? See, okay, it's true that I sleep in his room so, sometimes. But he's never crossed me. Not for one day. What a bag. I know what I'm saying now. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh. You think it's everybody that can open my legs for a bar? You think it's everybody? It's because I like you. What it's the love I have for you that, that made me... Um... I called you. What have I got myself into? Stop lying. The more you are lying, the more I'm getting confused. Just stop all this thing. Just don't lie in this thing now. It's your own. Just believe me. I like you if you don't know. Ify. Mwa mwa si sa cheno. Ify. Ify. wait. What is it? What is it? What is your problem? Why are you disturbing my life? Can't I have peace? Efnaya, what is wrong with you? I mean, what has come over you? What is your problem? Ebuka, look around you. If there is anybody that has a problem here, it's definitely you, not me. What is it? Efnaya, ever since I travelled to the village and came back, you have been acting strange. Tell me more. You are practically avoiding me. Always with H's on her these days. What is going on? You are village people, probably. Ebuka, is it by force to marry you? Is it by force? Would you force me into your home? And what is the meaning of that? <laughs> it simply means that Echosana and I are getting married pretty soon. You have a problem with that. What did you just say? Exactly what you heard. And what will happen to our baby? I mean, my own baby. Hey, hey. I'm sorry, What baby? See, Ebuka. Let me just tell you the whole truth. I lied to you. I lied to you about this pregnancy. The pregnancy actually belongs to Echezona, not you. So please, I'm begging you in the name of God, don't stop me again as I move. Please. Now, who's going on? Who's go? No, oh, stop crying. Stop crying for that girl. She's not worth your tears at all. Mama, I'm not crying because she left me for Echozona. Echozona is now the favorite of our boss. And everybody knows that he stands the chance of being the owner of our company in the future. She left me because of his future. I'm not complaining about that. My pain is, why take my baby to another man's house? Mama, that baby in her womb belongs to me. She can't deny it. No. If truly that baby belongs to you, in the fullness of time, your son will surely come back to you. Oh? Come on. Business, okay, stop crying. Hold 
The boy is grown up now. Echezona and Ifunaya are both dead. But before she died, she confessed that you are the true father of the boy. According to our culture, it is wrong to keep someone who is not our blood in our kingdom for so long, in order not to incur the wrath of the gods. Yes. Based on this fact, the Igwe have sent us to bring back the boy to you. And that is why we are here. This is the fullness of time. Just like my mother told me. He came in front of my son. Has come back to me. I named him Ikamefuna. Because he's the son of my youth. And I know my strength will never get lost. Igwe. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. He told us the whole story. Indeed, it was a pathetic one. The child is his. He has been awaiting his return all his lifetime. That's a good news to hear. A very good news indeed. Hmm. The boy shall return back to his origin. Mwaguadigefunamba. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> the whole matter is settled. Oh, yes. ah, that's a good news. Nice one. Very good news. Your father told us of how your mother left him when she was pregnant of you to marry your foster father, Uno who he chose her because of his wealth. He has been hoping. Believing that one day we shall return to him. I want you to do an honorable thing. Go back to your father. I cannot swear to help you. I want you to leave this kingdom in peace and in your honor. Because if this kingdom sends you home her own way, believe me, it will never be an honorable thing. Um, Ichie, thank you so much for everything. I will do as you've just advised. The bag you know me. They ask you to stop. Right now, I hope you're not gonna. If only for God you turn everything They beg you in ugly And they ask you to stop it You bent on fighting someone Meaning of what? I'm living your life for good I married you because of your father's wealth Now that you've accepted their conspiracy and accepted that one old wretched man out there is your father and expect me to go live with you and the old man. It's not going to work. My body detests poverty. So what do you rather have me do? By now I expected you to have called a lawyer. Yes, they conspired against you. Took away your birthright. To think you've been saying this in your dream all this while and it's still not clear to you. You should fight them. Take over what rightfully belongs to you. You see, I cannot live with you in your world of fantasy. I choose reality. If poverty is your reality, then this marriage between us is over. Everything is happening so fast. I'm not sure that I can ever come out of this. Uncle, I have, I've come to beg you. Please forgive me. 
I know I've wronged you and I know I've wronged God. Please forgive me so my soul and my spirit will be at rest. Because I have already forgiven you. You are like a son to me. And there is nothing a son does to his father that his father will not forgive him. So I've forgiven you. Thank Get you. Up. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. They ask you to stop. Right now, hope you don't gonna. At least my mind is at rest now. They beg you no grief. And they ask you to stop it. You bent on fighting someone who only loved you all the way. Igwe, after our brief family meeting, we decided to come and see you and let you know of our decision. Go on, I'm listening. Ebuna here, my late brother's son, has agreed to go back to his people of Ohaji in peace. <laughs> he has no choice. But if one thing is remaining, We've come to ask you to tamper justice with mercy. Though he is not my late brother's biological son, we will not strip him of all entitlements. If the white man who saw my brother, a common factory worker, took him in, not only that, adopted him as his son, Willed every property he had, including his factory to him, which he possessed till dead. Why, why will we allow Ebna to go empty-handed? If we please, I'm pleading on his behalf. Well, I am not stripping him off of everything just because he is not a uno was true son i am doing that because this man you are looking at here is evil he is wicked how could he have imagined such wickedness against you Igwe, i am so sorry I've asked for forgiveness over and over and over again. I'm sorry from my heart. I am, I'm so sorry for everything I did against my uncle here. And it's not going to happen again. Please forgive me, Igwe. Please, I beg. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry, Igwe. Igobara. Igwe. Please, sir. I join my elder brother, Ebuna, on this plea. Please, sir. Tamper justice with mercy. I have always known Ebuna to be my brother. We grew up together. Please, sir. I believe he's a changed person. Let's know. Let's not stripe him off everything. At least, let's leave the house he's living in. Please. Please, Your Highness. Both of you get up and sit down. Thank you. Thank you. I've had you. Since he has accepted to go back to his people in peace, we are going to leave the house he is living in for him. He will also remain as the MD of the company. But you, Ndudi, will become the new CEO. Oh, thank you, Igwe. Igwe. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, it's not only you people thanking me. 
Theophilus. Amen. I thank you so immensely for your brotherly love. And you know the for also the brotherly love that is existing in you. For you having considered that this man will not go back empty-handed and start life all over again. I thank you so much. Thank you, Ibu. And for you, Ebuna. Ibu. It's the high time you change to become a comprehensive good man. I've changed. I've changed already. Life is not wicked, but we human beings are making it to be wicked. You're right. You're right. No green. They ask you to stop right now. Obi no gonna. If only for culture, turn everything. They pack you no green. And they ask you to stop it. You bent on fighting someone who only loved you all the way. If only you may work Have you seen what you've done to yourself? Look at it, I can end it. Yeah, my cool. Oh. Uh -huh. Yes, he's the one. Even at my old age, I can still spot him. How? Oh. The strength of my life. The son of my youth, Ikemefuna. Can't you see the resemblance? Father, I'm back home. You're welcome, my son. I am Echazona's older brother. He told me how you people used to work for a white man in a factory. So when he told me about Ifunanya's pregnancy, so I inquired from him to be sure he is responsible for that pregnancy and he answered, yes, you know, it's only a woman that knows the true father of her son. But I got it. So before she died, she confessed to the truth that you are the true father of this boy. In the fullness of time, your son will be returned back to you. And that's why I am here. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I wish my mother is still alive. She would have lived to see her prophecy come to pass. My son. Father. Welcome back. Thank you so much. First of all, I am going to go. Bring down this house and build a mansion here. Yes. But before then, I'll make a plan for it. Then I'll go back to my base. I'll always be coming to see you. But I'll be monitoring the mansion from my base. Then after then, I'll come back. We'll celebrate and make merry. <laughs> Okay, man. <laughs> yeah, welcome, my son. Thank you. That's my son talking. <laughs> welcome, my dear. Ah. At the end, blood is thicker than water. Oh yes, you can see that again. Hey, hey. 
Hey, 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 what's going on here? My husband. Huh? Your, 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 your what? Your hogini? Or say? Oh, you thought I would be deprived from my father's wealth. Hmm? Now you've realized that it didn't happen. You're back to come and rip from where it didn't so. Are they possible? I'm sorry, it was the devil's work. I don't know what came no. over me. I still love you. You're what? still. Hey, 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 don't try it. Devil's work, what a wonderful devil that can do a wonderful work. From where? Please. And I've faced the reality. I've faced my newfound identity. Okay? And you're not part of it. You're not running me at all. Baby, please forgive me. I'm you, your you don't, wife. You don't want to go. You don't want to go. Okay. Please, no, I'm don't, you. don't try it. Honey? Yes, baby. Honey? Yes, baby. Come, 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 come. Oh, okay. Mm, ah. This is my newfound identity and you're not part of it. Okay, baby? Mm. Well, you know what? Let's go in there and continue off. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> when you're done, you can find your way. I present to you the new Ondo Wu of our kingdom. You shall take and start from where your father stopped. Your own son will start from where you stopped. This mantle of Ondo worship will remain in your family until the time is due. And when the time is due, the mantle will be taken to another family. Therefore, today, my people of Amozari Kingdom, as I hand over this mantle to him, I present to you the new Ono. <laughs>
ask you to stop But right now I hope you don't go to me If only for culture to me pretend They pack it you no know, green And they ask you to stop it You bent on fighting someone Who only loved you all the way They forgot you